time to make the pizza. So this is Hap's pizza recipe. First thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to about 325, kind of low because this pizza is gonna be so thick you really have to cook it a while. And then I'm gonna rub some uh, olive oil into my uh, pizza pan here. And I get that all everywhere on there. Good. And then I think I'll just take and put that aside. And I've already washed my hands there, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna worry about a little bit of olive oil on my fingers here. I'm gonna roll out my dough. Get this dough all rolled out. Now I haven't learned how to do the spinner thing, so I kind of have to just keep working my dough here to to get it out the way I want it stretched out for my pan. I'll just keep stretching it and working it. I like to just pull it right out as far as I can, so I can just make my dough here for my pizza. Oh yeah, so today I'm gonna have one of my favorite ingredients in this pizza. I learned in Japan to put corn. So we had some sweet corn at the end of the summer, which I shaved off the cob after grilling it, and then uh, froze it. Actually, I don't think I pre-cooked this one. I think this one is just shaved right off the cob from that sweet corn in the summer. Oh yeah, dough stretching right out here. Get the dough just how we want it, nice and even. Get the edges all stretched out there. No holes or anything. Yeah, that's how I like it. Hand stretched dough. Good. Stretched it nice. Stretched it right out there. All right, let's put the um, the dough in the pan. I think it's just going to be big enough. Excellent. And right now I'm just going to kind of let it hang over the edge a little bit. It wants to pull in, you know. Stretch it out to the corners. Good. So this is sort of a pizza pie, kind of deep, a deep dish pizza pie with corn. All right. So that looks good. And you know, that knife we just sharpened, I actually uh, I'm going to play around today, do a little playing around. Let's see. if uh, that knife will cut up our vegetables for us. Let's see if it is sharp. Sort of a homemade knife, right? All right, let's put this aside and we're gonna need a onion. That cut through the onion okay? Well, it's not quite as nice as a uh, kitchen knife, but maybe that's also me just trying to learn to, <laughs> to use it there. Boy, it cuts it right up. Look at that. Cuts it right up. Mmm. It could be fun. I might just start um, turning all kinds of things into knives. A little more onion. I like a little more onion than that. I'm a big onion fan. That's cutting them real thin. Nice. Yeah. Good. All right, so we got some onions ready, and we're going to need some broccoli. Let's see how the broccoli goes. We'll just come right in here and cut it right along that. That's fine. 
We can cut these stalks apart with any accuracy there. They're just coming right apart. Yeah, this is a pizza knife. It's not just for cutting the pizza at the end, I'll tell you. You can get right in there and use the pizza knife for all sorts of things. Look at that. Take that right apart. That's fun. That is fun. Right out of there. I've got some broccoli and onions. And now we've got to cut the mushrooms. Let's get some mushrooms over here to put on the pizza. See how it cuts right through the mushrooms. Very good. Yeah, we're doing good here. Turn it around so I can get my finger. Yeah. Okay, right through. Well, for something that started out as just a flat piece of metal, this um, turning out to be quite the tool. And now, let's see what we can do with the tomato. Ooh, get that right through the tomato. How are we going to do this tomato? Well, that's better. Yep. Okay. That's going to be good. Yeah, it's perfect. Go find the pizza sauce. On me a little bit there. Okay, a little more sauce. Let's just put it all in there. All right, and then I'm going to put the um, broccoli on next. The thing about the broccoli is that it lets a lot of air, kind of holds up the ingredients and I think having that air in there helps get it to cook in the middle okay put the onions on and they're gonna sit on top of the broccoli and I think that's that's really gonna help those onions cook mushrooms all over the place I love mushrooms Okay, this thing is really tall, but it cooks right down. Just put everything in there. Okay, now I've got four pieces of ham here. I'm going to put these uh, four pieces of ham on there. And then uh, I think we'll go ahead and put some cheese on. through the pizza from the top. Yeah, I can hear the oven doing its thing. I like pepperoni. I've always liked pepperoni ever since I was a little kid. Mmm, there we go. So we've got nice pepperoni out there. A little more cheese. Try to get around the edges. My favorite Japanese corn. I never saw I call it Japanese because that's where I first encountered corn on the pizza. I've never seen it anywhere else, really. And um, it just blends really nicely with the other ingredients. I like the flavor and sweetness and texture of the corn with the bread and cheese. It's fun. And finally, let's put our tomatoes up right on top that juice will cook right down through the whole thing into the pizza look at that 
Got a nice tomato everywhere. We'll put that little piece there in the middle house out. And now one more layer of cheese. I'll just put it all in there. And get this cheese all the way over to the sides. And then I'm going to kind of take and fold this back over here. Just let that stand up straight. ingredients in a little bit. So isn't this wild? This is a huge thick pizza. It's not very large but it's really thick and dense. And has lots of ingredients. Okay. Let's put it in the oven. The oven ready? Here we go. it on the middle rack. I put it way back deep in there. Now I'm just going to watch it. All right, let's uh, pull the pizza out. I think it's ready. And uh, I'll turn the oven off here. Whoa, it looks really good. Yum. Whoa. Wow, look at that. Bring that pizza right up here. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to pop right out of there. Yeah, I think it will. Oh, look at that. I think it's going to just lift right out. That's how it's cooked all the way through and just a little bit brown in the center. And the question is, will the pizza cutter do its job here? So, it does. Oh, yeah. Still out at the edges a little bit. Juicy. My pizzas are juicy. Mmm. Still squishing a little bit. Way better than before. It's cutting right through it. I might have to sharpen this a little thinner next time. I think the angle, it's sharp enough, but I think my sharpening angle is still too acute. And I think to get through this crust really cleanly, I'm going to have to, I mean, you can see it's cutting right straight down through, but it's hanging up on the top. And I think a thinner sharpening angle will make the difference. But more importantly, right now, I'm going to eat this pizza. Dinner!